Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Vlogmas Day 5. And in important news, I've lost two stone when I got weighed this morning. A new svelte, slim like me, ready for Christmas to put half of it back on. Good morning. Yes, it's Vlogmas Day 5. It's Saturday, as you've just heard from my other half. Um, we're going shopping shortly. I've got some washing in at the minute and I've washed all my, well, I've pre-washed all my fabrics that I showed you yesterday. So I am going to be making the bronze metallic or gold metallic ultimate trousers today, but I need to retrace that pattern. So, um, yeah, food shopping first and then when we get back, I'm going to be doing that. Oh yeah, Martin has to um, go for his flu jab because he's oh. over 50. I'm 55, I'm not MJ. So he's classed as in the vulnerable category now. I look vulnerable, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> yeah, very vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. So he's going for his flu jab shortly and then we're going for um, food shopping. So we'll battle the hordes in the Christmas, in the run up to Christmas. And then, never mind all this sewing business, the house needs cleaning, which will fall to me. I've got Christmas cakes to decorate. Ask her. You ask her on the comments. How often does she do the housework? I, you ask, I, you ask I, the ladies. I'm always, I, I, oh, I, I, I put the washing in this morning. Um, <laughs> I do lots of housework. Martin does the cooking. <laughs> right, I'm going to sign off before I incriminate myself anymore. <laughs>
right so the boys are now playing star wars on the playstation and i'm going to cut out my ultimate trousers we've obviously just put two of the christmas trees up uh, i don't think you can see it actually no you can't there's one in the kitchen one in the living room um gonna have one in here in the corner and then probably another one in the conservatory so yeah but i'm gonna do it bit by bit over the week and over the course of vlogmas um so it gives me something to film every day as well um yeah okay so i have just ironed well i've just pressed the fabric and i've just pressed my pattern as well i've altered the pattern so um yeah i've had to go down a size because i know that the ultimate trousers that i'm wearing currently are getting a bit too big now so i have just cut down a size and i'm going to put you on top of my unit and then you can watch me cut it out <laughs> in the sewing room and oh my word it is an absolute tip honestly I really need to sort this room out however I think it's just going to be a sort of preliminary tidy just so Bronte can get in here at Christmas because as soon as Christmas is out of the way it's operation new sewing room so yeah I've been having a look at Ikea and I'm just battling with my cover stitch at the minute. Um, yeah, I've been having a look at Ikea furniture and what furniture I want. And I've sort of got some ideas of the kind of things I want in there. Um, I think I've mentioned it before, but I'm not going to be redecorating it to start with because I just want to make sure that it's going to work for me. And I don't want to redecorate it, get all the new furniture in. Um, well this kind of furniture in and move my well what I'm going to do first is I'm going to move my dining table and chairs into the conservatory as soon as Christmas is out of the way and we've cleared the conservatory of Christmas decorations and whatnot and I want to see how that looks and if I feel that that's going to work if I feel it's going to work then yes we will go ahead get the new furniture for my new sewing room um and I think yeah to start with I'm not going to redecorate it i'm just going to get everything in there see how it works because i might want to move things around that kind of thing and at that point once i know how it's working and if, if it's working right for me that's when i'll probably redecorate it so uh yeah but i'm really excited i'm really excited to get started on that um right then so i brought my ipad because i am going to be watching some vlogs i think while i get this sewn up but first things first i need to um i need to go and interface this and um, the waistband pieces so i better go and do that before we do anything else
Um, I have got the trousers finished and well they're not finished they need hemming but I need to show you them because they look amazing. I was a little bit worried while I was stitching them that they're a bit OTT and maybe look a bit cheap and tacky but actually now they're on I'm really 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 pleased with them. I think they look fab. They do need hemming and I haven't got the right top on with them but I want to make I think probably an Ogden cami in just a nice black fabric for uh, Christmas to wear with these and then a little cardigan or something over the top or maybe a little bolero or something but anyway I'm going to put you down and show you these glitzy pants. I hope you're ready for this. What do you think? Um, I love them. I think they're just amazing. I love them too. <laughs> I've probably not got the right underwear on with these at all, but they are so comfortable. Um, yeah, I really love them. Oh, hang on. Right, yeah, I really, really love them. I just think they're just amazing. And um, yeah, I do need to hem them. I added on a fair bit to the length of these because I didn't want them ankle length because obviously I'm only going to wear them this time of year. I'm not going to wear them in summer. Um, and uh, yeah, I really, really like them. So I just need a nice top to go with them now and uh, yeah could even turn these into Kylie hot pants or maybe not right so two Christmas trees done nails repainted in a glorious Christmas red and uh, I'm gonna settle down for an evening watching Strictly I think now so I um, hope you've enjoyed today's vlogmas and I'll see you tomorrow bye